Hello friends, are you planning to go abroad? An embassy has given you certain list of documents to be produced with due translation by a certified translator. Then this video is important for you because I'm going to give you five things in this video which will be of great help to you. The first thing is what is certified translation? The second thing is who is a certified translator? Third is how to get the certified translation done. Fourth is what are the examples of certified translation and fifth is what is the difference between certified translation and notarized translation. So before I move on to give you these five important points, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, I request you to please subscribe and press the bell button to remain connected with us for our latest updates. What is the meaning of certified translation? Let me give you in brief that each and every country has certain specific requirement for translation. And it's not that any Tom Dick Harry does the translation and uh, uh, it is accepted all over the world. A translator must meet certain professional standards. And in order to meet those standards, they have to have a formal education in translation or in a particular language, followed by certain quality control, including certain certifications. Many countries, including Canada, Germany, Spain, and other ones, have a very established regime in which they identify translators through certain examination or documentation process and allow them to be called certified translators or allow them to be called sworn translators or allow them to be called professional translators given that they meet certain standards and requirements. In India, as well as many of the Commonwealth countries, there is no practice of giving a certification to a translator through government agencies. However, all these countries have their own translators association. And these associations provide membership to certain translators who are qualified enough with certain experience with quality control in their process as well as certain recommendations, their experience, their education qualification their reputation in the market etc and these are all parameters of identifying those translators and this is done through association. These associations work as interface between government, translators and industry and that's how the importance of the association comes and once you are a member of that particular association you are officially recognized as a translator, a professional translator. You may have variety of degrees or may not have but if you are not a member of a particular association you cannot declare yourself a certified translator especially in Commonwealth countries, including India. The second question is, who are certified translators? As I explained to you, my friends, that each country has its different rules. There are certain countries, for example, Canada, Germany, Spain, or some European countries where the government plays key role in regulating translation profession, including Australia and New Zealand. So such bodies conduct the examination either on record or through written and based on assessment, they provide certified translation status to professional translators. However, in India and many other Commonwealth countries, this certified translation is not regulated by government. Rather, it is done through Professional Translators Association. In India, we have Indian Translators Association that has been functioning since 2006 and it has worked on variety of projects, advisory projects, as well as, uh, uh, you know, direct projects for the government and it has supported variety of conferences and workshops and programs and training programs which has emerged as one of the leading professional associations in India for translators. So in India we have a certified translation agency, we have variety of certified translators but most of them make false claims. So in order to ascertain their claims it is important for you to identify those claims and visit the website of Indian Translators Association, identify the name of the translator, identify name of the agency and accordingly you can plan your activities because they at least maintain certain standards and that's how most of the embassies in India recognize translation done by members of Indian Translators Association. I'm also one of the certified translators. I'm on the co-founder and the founder president of the association. So with certainty, I can make a declaration that if a member of the association is giving you a translation, that means it has put in certain quality standards in place and therefore it is likely to be accepted by all embassies in India. So how we get the certified translation done? The only way out is to locate a professional translator who is member of Indian Translators Association and 
send your documents to that chosen person get the documents is scrutinized by them and based on their scrutiny they will give you a cost and a proposal negotiate the terms and accept the proposal and get the translation done and your work is done but ensure that whatever documents that you are getting translated you must get a proof reading done first of the draft if there are any initial hiccups or mistakes minor tweaking done you have to be part of that process get that tweaking done get the the, the corrections or spelling corrected and then approve the document and once it is approved the translator or the agency puts his stamp or it's a stamp of including his membership number or her membership number or agency's number with date puts that signature on both parts the document that you have supplied and the translation that they have done and you may demand an official letter of authenticity on their letterhead and once this is done your translation is ready for production to the embassy you now i have this particular document that i have received from the client this particular document is true copy of the original document it does not have any notary signs so the first and foremost important thing for certified translator is to identify that the document that he or she has received is true copy of the original not of the photocopy not of the notarized copy so that is the first point of quality control of authenticity of the document if the client is not providing you certain documents of you know original copy that means there is something wrong you must cross check again so once i have received this particular document now i will do the translation of it i will have to also use logo etc etc not purely dtp work but we have to put certain text in order to ensure that the person who is reading it understands that there was a logo here of particular government or particular university whatever so in particular in this particular trans, uh, document i will use the logo of the government or logo of the municipal corporation and then see all the minute details including date of birth including father's name mother's name place of birth uh, you know permanent address date of issue number of issue serial number and what not all these things i have done the translation and send it for approval to the client client checks it if he or she finds certain discrepancy in names he suggests the names or she suggests the names we correct it and finalize the document once the draft is approved we print it and put our stamp and signature on both the versions on the original copy as well as on the translation once we stamp it we scan it and send it to the client followed by courier if needed at his or her local address so this is how you know the translation is done my friend if you are diverting from this process there is a risk that you will run into bigger trouble so in order to ensure that you don't don't run into bigger trouble please follow this process it is to my next part and that is last but not the least and that is what is difference between certified translation and notarized translation as i explained to you my dear friends before certified translation is done by a certified translator or a professional translator who is member of an established translators association in good standing with the government and embassies number 1 number 2 you know notary is an oath commissioner authorized by the government to certify documents official documents any translator who is a bilingual can do the translation and get notary done notary will not refuse that that process however please understand that notary he has not declared the authenticity of the quality of the translation or the person who is doing the translation he just certifying that this particular document has been translated by abcd but what is the quality of abcd is not asserted in notarized translation so this is the basic difference that makes a big difference when it comes to producing your translated documents in the embassy some embassies may accept notarized versions but most of them do not accept it for the fact that they look for a professional translation not unprofessional one because any unprofessional translation can be done and a notarized can be done but a professional translator is the person who follows certain procedure who follows certain rules who has established uh, you know process and who has been scrutinized by an order of the association so if that particular quality control is done in advance there is likelihood that the quality of the translation will be good that's how the embassies look for translation by professional translators not by notarized translators So this is the difference, my friends. I hope it helped you. 
And if you are going abroad, if you need translation, uh, uh, certified translation, do remember us. Modlingua is a certified translation company. And personally, I am also a certified translator. Anything I can help you, I will be happy to do that. But before going, I will again request if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, my friends, please do subscribe and press the bell button to remain connected. Thanks for your time. Hope to see you again. Thank you.